Make a wish. Every day is a clean and happy day. Huh? Spooky. Oh, hi, Cleanie. Anyways, it's tonight. Is it? I thought it was tomorrow. What are you guys talking about? What is it? He says there will be hundreds of shooting stars in the sky tonight. Really? Stars falling from the sky? Wow, it sounds amazing. <laughs> I guess you guys heard the news. Yes, we did. Then why don't we watch the sky together tonight? Sounds, Sounds good. good. I'm in. Let's meet up at the wind hill then. See ya. Okay, okay see, see you. you. <laughs> You're a star too. <laughs> I hope it gets darker soon. Hold on to the wind hill. La 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 la. Oh, oh, hey guys. Hi. Shoo. Hey. Stars. Let's go. I don't see any. Maybe it's tomorrow night? You guys too? I thought I was the only one can't see them. Oh, there it is! Where? Where? Where is it? I don't see it. It already went that way. What did it look like? Uh, it wasn't just one. They were like a bunch of butterflies. Nonsense. I thought it's a single star falling down tracing a tail. No, you have to wait and see. I mean, I'm not seeing any, so... Oh my, I saw it! Really? Oh, why can't I see it? Just concentrate. Just focus on the one spot. <laughs> spooky, your eyes! <laughs> You're funny, Spooky. <laughs> I think I saw one, or maybe not. Oh, it was one! I want a rainbow top. Oh, I wasn't done yet with my wish. I know, right? They're just too fast. Shh, let's just be quiet and watch the sky and make our wish as quickly as we can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want a postcard from overseas. A rainbow tire. Ah, I'll call it Artie for short. I want Artie. New checkered hat. New checkered hat. <gasps> Everyone has their own wish. Why can't I think of my own wish? <sighs> You're being so quiet, Cleanie. Haven't seen any yet? No, I see them now, but... Then what are you doing? Make a wish! Well, the thing is, I can't decide what I want. What? What do you mean? Are there too many? No, no, I mean... There, there it is! is. RT! Postcards! A checkered hat! Uh, I want... Uh... I guess it's almost over. I only see very few. Still can't decide, Cleanie? Mm-hmm. It might be the last one, so just wish anything when you see it. Oh, uh, there it is! Uh, okay. My wish is, um... Huh? <laughs> it's okay, Cleanie. Yeah, it happens. We can try again next time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you, guys. Oh. Oh. Hey, guys, gather around. Okay, got, got it. it.
Huh? What's that? Shooting stars. Come on, make a wish, Cleanie. Huh? Come on, I bet you have one now. You guys did this all just for me? Thank you so much. Okay, okay, thank us later, but first make a wish. <laughs> mm. Now it's really the last one. Here it comes, Cleanie. I wish I could see shooting stars again next year with my friends. What was that, Cleanie? If I were you, I would wish to cancel all my friends' wishes. What? Gosh, Spooky, that's ridiculous. Why? It's funny. Oh, Spooky, you're just so... So what? So cool. <laughs> what about us? Of course you guys are awesome, too. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Saying I'm sorry out loud. Okay, today's last package. It's a brushy for Cleanie. On my way! Cleanie, I'm here with your package. Oh, hey, Posty. Oh, what was that? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm a little bit busy now, Posty. Sorry. Well, you're my last customer today. Let's hang out. <laughs> Thank you for the package, Posty. But as you can see, I have work to do. I'm sorry. Maybe later. Well, that's a lot of work, I see. I think it'll take quite a long time to finish. And it's already evening. Can't you just do it tomorrow and hang out with me today? Sorry, Posty, but I can't leave my work till tomorrow. But Cleanie, please? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm not going to give you this package. Posty, I think that's my new brushie I ordered recently. <laughs> Promise me you'll hang out with me today and I'll give it to you. Uh, what do you say? Huh? Huh? I think I can't. Sorry, Posty. Oh, Cleanie, really? No package for you today. Huh. Posty, let's hang out tomorrow. I promise. Nuh-uh. Today or no package. Why are you doing this, Posty? This is mine. No, play with me, then I'll give it to you. Give it now. I said no. Come on, I have to work. <laughs> what? It's a mess! My brushy! What do I do? Posty, you! Uh, I was just... Uh, <sighs> Cleanie, I didn't mean to... Well, none of this would happen if you just said okay! What? Posty! Uh, I don't know! <sighs> I didn't mean to do it! But, should I apologize? Nope. Why should I? Cleanie was the one who tried to take the package from me. It's not all my fault. But, I guess I was being a bit annoying. I should apologize. Posty! Oh my! You scared me! What's wrong? Do you have any problem? Well, today I really wanted to hang out with Cleanie, so... What? You should go and apologize to Cleanie right now. What are you waiting for? Hey, it wasn't all my fault. Why are you always on Cleanie's side? Huh. What's wrong with him? Hey, Cleanie. What are they talking about? Are they talking behind my back? Cleanie will accept this brushy. Hey, Cleanie. What? Now Cleanie's just ignoring me. I guess Cleanie's really upset. Posty, <sighs> why 
Why the long face? <coughs> Cow. I think Cleany is mad at me. Cleany is ignoring me. You still didn't apologize? No, I mean, I tried, but Cleany kept ignoring me, so I also got mad, and I don't know what to do now. <coughs> what do you mean you don't know what to do? You just go and say sorry. Like we got along even better after a fight, you know? Do you think so? It's pretty late, though. Do you think Cleany will accept my apology? And I think I saw Cleany saying something bad about me to you a few days ago. What? To me? Oh, that! <laughs> no, no, no. We were just talking about some places to clean. That's all. Really? Yeah. So, Posty, do you want to apologize to Cleany now? Yes, I guess. Of course, you can do this, Posty. Then let's go to Cleany's together. Okay, let's hurry. Okay. Cleany! Oh, hi, Cap. Busy as always? Yes, a bit. But it's almost finished. Oh, what are you looking at? Uh, come on over here, Posty! Posty? Yeah, I think Posty has something to tell you. Cleany, I didn't mean to do it, really. So? All I wanted was to hang out with you, and then it happened. So, I think, well, I know I slightly crossed the line, and... Posty, what are you doing? Just say it. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is, I'm sorry. Really? <laughs> so? I think you're pretty mad at me. Me? Why do you think that? You ignored me several times. You ignored my present. Ah, that. Uh, no, not actually. <sighs> well, Posty was right about the work. I can't finish this today. Should I have just told him to hang out? He even brought me my package. I gotta go to Posty. Oh. Wait. Wait. Ja. Gotta hurry for the next one. Huh? What's this box? Oh, a new brushy! Posty was here. Oh no, maybe he was thinking about it for a long time. I gotta meet Posty tomorrow. But look, you guys came for me. Thank you. So, Cleany was never mad at you after all. Cleany! Oh, don't cry, Posty. I'm so sorry. I really wanted to apologize at the time, but I was so embarrassed, and then I got afraid. It's okay, but really, thank you for saying sorry to me. So, will you accept my apology? Of course! I felt bad not being able to hang out with you that day, too. And I was worried if you were upset about it. Okay, okay, enough with the heartwarming apologies. So, I guess you're done with your work today, Cleany. Shall we hang out right now or what? Okay, cool. Hi, Lynn. What do you want to do? So, Cleany, do you like the new brushy I gave it to you? Sure, it's from you. Wow, you guys did get closer than ever. Jealous. What? Cab? <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't have a flower. Hello, Poke. Oh, growing a flower? Oh, a bud. It looks like it's going to bloom soon. Wow, a yellow bud. It's really cute. Yeah, I mean, I wish to grow a plant like Poke. Jin! Mm -mm. Jin, get up! Jin!
Maybe she's still sleeping. <sighs> Jin, come on, wake up! Jin! Oh, what is up, guys? This early? We want to grow a plant, too! Yeah, a flower like Poke! Can you get us some seedlings? Wait, what seedlings? It's not an easy thing to grow a plant like you think. We know. We saw how Poke does. Uh, it requires a great deal of care. We can do it. You can watch us how we do it. Please? Please? Okay, okay. I'll try to get them as soon as it's light. Yay! Yay thank thanks, you, Jin. Jin! You're the best, Jin! Here, the seedlings you've asked for. Take one each. Yay, I'm excited! Thanks, Jin. I'm a plant daddy now. La la, what can I do to make it grow better? This spot has a better sunlight, so you go here. First, I'm going to water it. La la la. I will grow it well as Poke does. Pat, pat. See? My flower! It's orange color! Do you think it'll taste like one too? My flower has drawings on the pink petals! Mm -hmm. My peperomia has the most big and gorgeous leaves! But Dump, you don't have any flowers! Mm -hmm. Oh yeah! But why? Is it a weird plant? Mm -hmm. What do you mean weird? Your plants are weird. Our flowers are pretty. Leaves, colors, and also it has four petals. Mine has one more than Bruner's. Mine has five. What? Mine blooms not just one, but bunch of them. Yours smells like poo. Poo? Mine smells nice. Go ahead, smell it. Smell. <coughs> hey, stop you guys. Will someone who has no flowers stay out of this? What? Bruner, I'm doing my best to grow mine. Guys, what's happening here? Why are you guys fighting? Uh, it's... Bruner, will you explain what's happening here? Uh, it's just that... These guys are treating me bad because I don't have a flower in my pot. What? Is that true? No, I mean, we were just showing off our own plants and... I have a lot of things to show off too. Mine has shiny leaves. But still, no flowers. Stop, stop. Okay, I get it now. Let's calm down. Now, every plant has its own unique characteristic. Mm. Bruner's Kalankoe has small but many flowers for a long time. That's right. Max's Rose Geranium is fancy and it has a strong scent to keep insects away. Also, it's used as a herb too. Mm. Poke's dandelion turns into a puff looking like a cotton candy, unlike other flowers. Mm. And Dump's peperomia doesn't bloom a fancy flower, but has particularly beautiful leaves. Mm. They all look different, but they will all bloom flowers, but some plants just don't. Really? Yeah, they might all look different, but they are all equally precious. Ah, like Poke, Max, Dump, and I look different but are all precious and unique? Yes, exactly. From now on, I'll take a closer look at my friend's plants. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to wear glasses! Ah, 
enough fresh air. I love it. Now speeding it up. Ellie, can you hear me? If you can, answer me. Hey, Jin, what's up? A gust has been forecasted. Be careful on the patrol. Of course, Jin. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, now I should put out the fire and get going. Going to clean this up and go. Oh, my glasses! Uh, the wind is really strong. Oh, uh, these glasses are. Uh, these are camps. He should be around here somewhere. I should bring these to him. Ouch! Oh. Oh, oh, ow, oh, I can't see well without my glasses. Camp, oh, uh, where are your glasses? Are you trying to live without them? Uh, no, the wind took them away. I see. So what are you going to do? I don't know. What should I do? Camp, there you are. I think these are yours. Oh, yes, Helly, thank you. There you go. Finally, I can't see well. Oh, hey, Spooky. Hi, Helly. But how did you find my glasses? Well, the wind brought them to me. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Anyways, thanks again. You're always welcome. Yeah, I think Camp looks better with his glasses. Makes him look smarter. <laughs> yeah, I do hear that a lot. Really, you do look smarter, Camp. Try them on, Helly. Me, me? Yeah, let's see if they look good on you too. Would you, Camp? Well, you found my glasses, so... Ta-da! Uh, how do I look? <laughs> wow, Helly, they do look good on you too. More intelligent looking, Helly. That's new. Really? Do I look intelligent? Well, kinda. Now give them back to me. I can't see well without them. Uh, okay. Here you go. Oh, I want glasses too. So, suddenly you have bad eyesight? Yeah, something from the gust got into my eyes and I can't see well. Oh, that's a problem. Let's check your eyesight first. Just relax. Okay, Jin. <laughs> okay, can you read this? Seven. And which part is broken? Um, right side. How about this? Oh, uh, wait. Um, um, I can't see it well. Really? You can't? You have to wear glasses if you can't see this. Yeah, I guess. Do I have to wear glasses? Well, sadly, yes. Oh, well, what can I say? It's okay, Jen. Yay! Yeah! Oh, 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 I feel dizzy. Oh, am I at the right place? I don't think so. Oh, oh, can't see. Oh. Oh. oh, I can't see. Oh. Hmm, something's wrong. Helly! Hey, Jin! Uh. 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 Helly! What's wrong with you today? Tell me! Uh, Jin, to be honest, I don't have a bad eyesight. I once tried Camp's glasses and I thought they looked good on me, so I lied. Helly, really? Lie about your eyesight? Of course I understand, but glasses are only for when you really need them. Yes, I learned my lesson. I'm so sorry. Oh, silly you, Helly. Okay, today I'm going to check the village right. Helly, come over here for a sec. Oh, what is it, Jen? 
you're going on a patrol, Helly? Yeah, in recent days I did it kind of poorly because, you know... <laughs> Don't you think the sun is too strong today? Yeah, but sun doesn't bother me. I know, I know. But I think you'll look even better with this. Oh, what is this? Open it. Wow, cool sunglasses. It'll look way cooler than the glasses, and it won't bother you. Jen! Thank you for your service, Helly the Awesome Rescuer. No problem at all. Helly on duty. Woohoo! Woohoo! Be honest! Finally! Clean and shining! <laughs> ah, I feel good! Very nice and neat! Oh, oh Cleany! Well met! Are you busy now? Oh, hi, Cap. What's up? I have to go to the post office to send this package, but I just got a call from Stacy. Oh, I see. I think I can help with that. I just have to give the package to Posty, right? Right. Thanks a lot, Cleany. You're welcome. Hurry up and meet Stacy. Thanks. See you. Now, to the post office. Oh, oh, no, the package! No, no, no! Please stop, package! Ouch! Ouch! Ow! Where did it go? Oh, no, where is it? Oh, no! Oh. Where is it? I'm in trouble! What should I tell Cap? Oh, Cleany! Well, uh, hi! <laughs> uh, what a nice day, right? Uh, I delivered a package to Posty, Cap. <laughs> huh? Ah, the package. Thank you, Cleany. But why are you covered in dirt? Oh, I should get going. Bye! Huh? That was weird. Huh? <laughs> Oh no, what are they talking about? Oh no, they're probably talking about me. But Cleany said Cleany did gave the package to you. No way, I didn't get anything from Cleany. What are you talking about? I know Cleany, Cleany doesn't lie. So do you think I'm lying? Wow, Cap, wow. Huh. Hey, I'm the one who's most confused right now. Huh. <laughs> oh, it's all my fault. <laughs> I lied and I made them fight. What should I do now? <laughs> no, I should apologize and tell them the truth. Yeah, so that is how it happened. Oh, really? I didn't know. Yeah, me too. I mean, that's one huge accident. We should be careful. Yeah, Posty. Cleany. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I didn't mean to lie, but I made you guys fight and I felt so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Cleany. What's going on? What do you mean? What lie? Oh, I mean about my lie. Earlier you guys were talking about me, right? I don't know what you're saying, Queenie. Well, after I lost Cap's package, I lied that I delivered it to Posty. You lost the package? Uh-huh. I thought I could find it, but I couldn't. Oh, so that is why you're covered in dirt. Uh-huh. Why didn't you tell us earlier? 
We can find it together. Oh, Queenie, you poor thing. You guys are not mad at me? What? Queenie, why do you think that? You were trying to help me, and accidents happened. <laughs> yeah, I tripped over a tree bridge, and the package washed away with the stream. <sighs> so, no one's busy now. Shall we go find the package? That's a good idea. Oh, thank you, guys. Oh, oh. guys, it's raining. Oh, oh. yeah. It stopped. Let's keep going. Wait for me. Uh, oh my. Sorry, Posty. It's okay. I'm going to wash it anyway. Oh yeah? Then take this. Yeah. Oh my. Oops. Sorry, Queenie. Cap, did you do it on purpose? Because of the package thing? Oh no, no, no. Never. No. Why are you stammering? I said yeah. no. Yeah. Take this. Yeah. 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 Catch me if you can! Hey. Stop there! <laughs> I'm the fastest one! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Watch out, Cap! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God you're okay, Cap! Huh? Guys, is that where? Oh, there it is! Ah! Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, and thank you, really. Lini, when you have made a mistake, being honest is the best. Yeah, I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs>
Benny, you're bored too, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not that exciting, but... No, I promised to Grandpa that I'll be looking after the house well. I can't leave my house. Play with me. I'm enjoying it. No, I want to play outside. You do what you want to do. Play with me or stay with me. Oh, 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 Wait for me! Oh, really? Huh, you'll see. I'm going to play all by myself. Huh? The house is all messed up. I mean, cleaning can be fun. Like, like, oh, I was wrong. Well, since I'm looking after the house well, I think it'll be okay to be outside for a while. But I promised him. Uh, no, I think it'll be okay. Guys, wait for me! for too long. I have to go. What happened? Minnie, where are you? Gosh, what happened here? Minnie! Minnie! I should call the rescue team. Grandpa! Ah, oh, Minnie, there you are. Are you all right? I was so worried about you. The house is a total mess and the door was open. I thought you were in trouble. Grandpa, I'm so sorry. I promised to look after the house and... <laughs> Why are you crying, Minnie? Did something happen? No, I was just feeling bored staying in the house and... I thought it was okay to play outside for a while. I tried to do my best. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, Minnie, calm down. What did you think looking after the house meant? Keeping the house safe? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm depressed. <laughs> I'm sorry, Minnie. Aw, but I think you misunderstood something. About what? Looking after the house means you take a good care of yourself. Really? Really. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, now I wish I'd known that sooner. <laughs> oh, I should have told you earlier. You did a good job today, sweetheart. So, now you're okay to play outside, right? Am I, Grandpa? Of course. Go out and have fun. Oh, yay! Back to the playground! <laughs> <laughs> Be safe, kids! Sleep well! Buzz, buzz, bee goes in. Twinkle, twinkle, star comes out. Wee! The forest is way more fun when it's dark. <laughs> huh? What's that? Oh, it's a firefly. It's so pretty and cute. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. It's time to go to bed. But I'm not sleepy yet. Would you like to play with me all night long, yellow fellow? Oh, wait for me! Where are you, yellow? Are you here? Or here? Oh, I guess not. Where are you, yellow? There you are, yellow. Wow, you're good at hiding. It's my turn. Come and get me. Oh. Oh, I'm not sleepy. Come on and catch me, yellow. Come on. Oh, it's not going to be easy this time. Oh. 
It's morning already. Did I stay up all night? Wow, this is amazing. I stayed up all night. Uh, but why are my eyelids so heavy? I gotta go home. <sighs> it was fun to play with you, Yellow. <sighs> Hi, Spooky. Hey, Cleanie. It's early in the morning and you're working hard. Well, I love my job, that's all. But are you coming from the forest now? Yeah, I was in the forest all night. All night? But why? Cleanie, I stayed up all night. I didn't sleep a wink and played with Yellow. Really? I don't know who Yellow is, but you played with him all night? I did. Wow, that's amazing, Spooky. I've never been up all night. It sure is not easy, but I, Spooky, did it. Oh, I wish I could do it too. Kalini, I just decided to challenge myself to stay up all night for five days straight. What? <laughs> Playing with a tire is the best. <laughs> One star, two stars, 131, 132, 133. Oh, oh, not sleeping yet. <laughs> oh, it's a kitty. Meow, Mr. Kitty. Come here. Meow. Huh? Wow, the sun is up. Spooky, come over here for a sec. Ooh. Ooh. Ta-da! Oh, what's this? You stayed up all night for two days straight. So, two flowers to you. But really, wow, Spooky, aren't you even a bit tired? Me? Of course, not tired at all. Look at me. I wasn't snoring. I wasn't sleeping at all. <laughs> Spooky, where are you going? Uh, I don't even know. Uh. Hey, Spooky. Do you have a moment? Oh, Jin. Yeah, sure. Dump says he's in the middle of the road because he's out of energy. Could you pick him up and bring him here? Sure. Spooky is on the way. I'll be back soon. <sighs> Thank you, Spooky. Ooh, ooh. You're welcome. <sighs> what? Spooky's not there yet? That's odd. He left here early. Okay, let's find him together. Spooky! Where are you, Spooky? What's going on? Spooky, you troublemaker. Spooky, where are you? You don't see him there? Not from here. Oh, where did he go? Oh, Spooky! Spooky! Spooky, wake up! That's weird. Spooky isn't waking up. What's going on here? Come on, Spooky, wake up! Oh, I wasn't sleeping at all. I'm fine. What happened? And why in the middle of the road? I have to go and pick Dump up. We already did that. Are you sick? No. Well... Well what? Are you really sick? I'm kind of sleepy. Maybe I stayed up all night for too many days. Uh... What? You told me you played all night two days ago and you haven't slept yet? Uh, I was challenging myself because I was curious and... Uh, oh, oh my! Spooky, you could have gotten in big trouble. How long did you stay awake? Five days. Five, Five days? days? Was my goal, but just two. <laughs> just two? That's not okay. 
If you don't sleep, you're going to be tired all day. I know, but I was too proud of myself after the day when I stayed up all night for the first time. Yeah, after you told me that, I wanted to do it too. Oh, the feeling of the first experience. I can relate. Yeah, but lack of sleep made me hard to think straight. I thought it was not okay to keep challenging myself with it. Not sleep at all, you said. <laughs> So, Spooky's challenge is now over? Uh, yeah. Keeping my health should be my priority. Oh, Yellow! Yellow? The Firefly? Yeah, he's my hide-and-seek buddy. Uh, excuse me. Spooky, are you going to play hide-and-seek again? Yeah, just one more time, and I'll go to sleep. Don't worry about me. Yellow, play hide-and-seek with me. Just one more time. Yellow! Oh, Spooky. Oh, we can't stop him. <laughs>
got the ball. Oh, oh my! Oh my. Oh, rain again. Oh. The ball is of no use again. We're going out right after this rain stops. Oh no, rain again! We just started our picnic! <sighs> Go backwards and spin ten times! Hop with your right wheel! Please stop, rain! <sighs> I'm tired! If we go out, it'll rain again! Yeah, but let's not give up! Okay! What happened to you? Because of the sky? Oh, the rain made you upset. I hate to say this, but we should go on an indoor picnic. No, I don't want to. We don't want to. Oh, sweethearts. We couldn't go on a picnic last year, and it's happening again. It's not fair. <laughs> what should we do? Kids, we've thought about some things to do indoors. Do you want to hear them? Treasure hunting, playing inside of a tent, spinning tires, taking group photos. But we did them already. Of course, the rain ruined most of them. So I see. Oh no, they say if the green frog croaks, it'll rain. No. <laughs> I'll catch them all and put them away. <laughs> Me too. Kids. We're going to catch a cold, kids. Let's go inside. Where did they go? Oh. I got to say, it's really fun to catch a green frog in the rain. Really? Yeah. But why did we think that we couldn't go on a picnic when it's raining? I think we're doing great. Yeah, it looks like you're having fun. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit. A oh, green frog. frog! They're not going to forget <laughs> this year's picnic. I know, right? I think it's way more fun when it's raining. <laughs> yeah! Let me take a picture. One, two, three. <laughs> I think the jinx is now broken. <laughs> Don't forget! <laughs> Finally, tomorrow is my day off! Oops, what am I doing? I have to finish my work to have a perfect, cozy day off. My last thing to do is... Oh, clean up the junk mails. <laughs> Okay, perfect. I can't wait for tomorrow morning. Woohoo! My wonderful day off begins. Let's check today's plan. Play with a ball, fishing, and play with a tire. Cool, on my way to enjoy my day. Oh, a charging station. I have 60% left. Should I charge now? Uh, no. 60% is fine. Huh? He's leaving. I thought he had to charge his battery today. Hey, guys! <sighs> Play with me! Uh, oh! Oh, hey, Posty! It's my day off today. Let's play ball! Posty, we have works to do. You can do them later, after playing with me. Oh... Uh... Oh, come on, please! Oh, okay, Posty. Don't push. Ooh, got it! Pass the ball to me, Bruner. It's my turn. Oh, okay. Yeah! Mine again! Yeah! Yay, I won! Woohoo! No, let's play 
play one more time. Sorry, Bruner. I wish I could play too, but I have my next plan. So you just do whatever you want, huh? I had a lot of fun today. Thanks. Bye, guys. <laughs> Posty, you look good today. Thanks. That's because I'm on my vacation today. <laughs> I wish I could catch a lot of fish. But Cece, is the sea usually this boring? Oh, you're bored? My friends told me going fishing is fun, so I planned it for my day off, but now I'm regretting it. I caught zero fish, and I was here for an hour now. Why can't I catch a fish? Posty, you need to calm down and be relaxed to enjoy fishing. It's your day off. Yeah, but... Uh, Cece, What's your highest fishing record? Um, about a hundred in a day. What? A hundred? That's amazing, Cece. Hmm. Oh, you got one. Yay, finally, my first fish. Yeah. Go, Posty. Come on. <laughs> Posty, pull the fishing rod on the count of three, okay? Okay. One, two, three. I got this. Oh, oh. what is this? I'm bad at fishing after all. But you did a great job for a first timer, Posty. Let's go back now. Oh, okay. Posty, how was your fishing? Some seaweed, I see. Oh, how did you know I caught seaweeds? Well, there's one on your head. <laughs> oh, yeah. I caught lots of seaweeds. <laughs> and a fish, too. But I just let him go. Really? That's amazing, Posty. Just letting go your first fish. It's nothing. Uh, I should go now. I have a plan with Spooky. Okay, see you later. Okay. Bye, Jen. Oh, oh, oh. oh Posty! Oh, Posty! What are you guys doing here? Posty, are you okay? You just passed out. Jin called for a help, so I'm here. Me? I passed out? Yeah, I was so scared. You were out of energy. Yeah? I guess you were having too much fun on your day off, huh? I mean, yeah, it was my vacation, so... So you tried to save some time by not charging your battery? Uh, I didn't mean to, but turns out, yeah. I just temporarily charged the battery, so you're fine to move around for now. Thanks, Amber. And I'm sorry for making you guys worry. Posty, you have to be strong and healthy to play well. You will not forget to charge your battery anymore, right? Of course! Oh, I was going to play with a tire with Spooky. He must have been waiting for so long. What? what? I'm going to enjoy the rest of my vacation. Posty, you have to go to the charging station before you play. Oh, I almost forgot again. Posty! Ah, Spooky, I'm here! I'll be there soon! Well, I have to go now. Thank you so much for today. Don't forget to charge! Okay! Oh, nothing can stop our Posty. <laughs> <laughs> Camp's Mystery Birthday Party! Hmm. Oh, hey Camp! Camp! Whoa, you scared me! What were you doing? Shh, be quiet! Why? What is it? My lantern is gone! It was right here just a minute ago! Huh? Really? Camp, you silly! It's on the tree! Shh, don't say anything! I'm going to solve this mystery. The moon is up there, but you can see these double shadows here. And that will mean... 
The lantern should be up on the tree. Yay, I knew it. I'm like a detective. <laughs> Aren't I, Lefty? Uh, yeah. Even though I was there the whole time. Hmm. Huh? All right, tomorrow's Camp's birthday. I should prepare something. Oh, tomorrow is Camp's birthday? Of course we're going to throw a birthday party. So what would he like? Well, we can give him a box full of birthday cards we wrote. Um, how about a treasure hunt? A treasure! Everything sounds fun. What do you say, Lifty? I know you're really close to camp. I was thinking about a mystery-themed surprise party. A mystery-themed party? Yeah, Camp's really into playing detective after he went to the mystery museum. <laughs> really? That sounds fun. Yeah, sounds cool. A mystery birthday party. Yeah, it does sound really cool. So, what kind of case should we set up? Hmm, I think... Cam! 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 I need your help, Cam! Huh? What? What is it? Somebody wrote something strange on the rock in the forest! Oh, what does it say? You should see for yourself! Come on, hurry! Uh, but I was reading a very important book! Cam, this is a serious case! Oh, a case, you say? Please, lead me to the rock! Oh, look at this! At 7 p.m. tonight, if two hands make a sound, flames will spurt, and the whole town will cry. This is serious. Who would do something like this? But don't worry, I got this. I knew you are the only one who can solve this. First, we have to find the clues about the writing. Let's look around the rock first. Huh? I found the sign. Yes, he found it. Oh, a sign? It's pointing to the right. Should we go this way? No, no, no. That's not how you do it. Most of you would think like that, but I, Camp the Detective, am different. Look, only one finger is pointing to the right, and the other four fingers are pointing to the left. Why would they use the finger arrow instead of a regular arrow? You need to think deep to figure out things like this. We are going left. Uh-huh. Uh, Camp, uh, I admire your reasoning power, but the culprit might not be as smart as you. Why don't we just go to the right? No, no, that's not how you do it. Haven't you read any detective stories? There's a lot of culprits that are smart as the detective. It's basically a brain battle between the culprit and the detective. I is it? Okay, give me a second. Jen, this is not good. Camp is going the opposite from what we planned. Really? But how? Okay, I'll try to fix it at the next stage. Okay, thanks, Jen. Go, Lifty! Camp, wait for me! Hey, I got a message from Jen. She wants us to change the tire track into a new shape. Huh? Okay, then. is tidy. This is definitely a trap. The tire track is curved to the left, so we should go to the right. What? Let's go to the right. Oh, wait for me, Camp. Oh, he's so unpredictable. Oh, hey, Jin. Camp went to the other side again. Then let's change our plan to drag him from the entrance. Got it, Jin. Hmm, it's almost seven already. Camp, I sense a strange movement from the entrance of Friendship Forest. You do? Then let's go. Yeah. Huh? What's that? Hey, stop there. Ah, uh, I almost got them. This is the hardest birthday party ever. I bet he went this way. It's already seven. The writings on the rock were... If two hands make a sound, flames will spurt. Huh. Two hands making a sound. A clap, maybe? Go ahead and clap, Cam. 
Maybe you just have to do what the writing said to catch the culprit. Hmm. <laughs> You're right. A real detective should never quit. <laughs> oh, the flames! Maybe we have to turn and follow the flames. Okay. But why do we have to turn? You'll see. What is all this? Happy birthday, Cam. What? What is happening? It's your birthday today. Happy birthday. So this whole thing was planned just for me? Yep. yep. Oh my, I had no idea. This is the best birthday party ever. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Blow out the candles, Cam. Come on, here's a present for you, too. Hey. Here you go. Thank you. Mm. What are you doing? Open it. From my excellent hearing, I think it's... Really? You're still doing it? Oh, come on, Cam. Just open it. Nope. I can't do that. I can't just simply open the present. I'm a detective. Come on, let's open it! What? Camp. <laughs> oh, camp you. <laughs> <laughs> We're a team! And go! One, two... I'm going this way! Three... I'm going this way too! Four... Me too! You guys better hide quickly! Huh? Max, don't come here! If we stay together, we're going to get caught so easily! But I want to go this way too! No, you go to the other way! Uh, I should go somewhere else! Let's go far as we can! Yeah, as far as possible from the tagger! That's exactly what I just said, you copycat! I was thinking about it too, but you said it first and that's all! Yeah, whatever! Anyways, we should find a place where the center is completely empty. Got it! Five... Oh! This is a perfect spot! Petty Spooky, I found a much better spot to hide. <laughs> hmm, I don't want to go too far alone. I need somewhere close from here. Oh, this place is nice! But it's messy. I should quickly clean this place up and hide. Okay, done. Oh, I should hide here. Okay, it's pretty dark in here, so he won't find me easily. <laughs> Seven. We better hide now. Okay, I think we've come far enough. We are such a good team! Nine, but where should we hide? Ten. Luna will be here any minute! Come on, there must be a place to hide! Hey, I'm doing my best! And keep your voice down! On my way! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Hmm. Wow, everyone hides so well! Are you here? Nope! How about here? Huh, that's odd! This is a spot! Where should we... Oh! This place is it! Hmm... Will you please move over a little? It's really cramped, you know! Huh? I can hear the voice of Posty and Cap! Whew! He's gone! Just move a little. What are you talking about? My wing mirror is this much out. You move a little. Huh? I definitely heard something around here. Shush, quiet Bruner's ear. You be quiet. Woohoo! Come out, come out, wherever you are. We're really going to get caught. Just move a little. 
He'll move a little. He might see me. <laughs> Found you. Ghosty, Cap, you're it. Hey, this is all your fault. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you two do a rock, paper, scissor or something. You pushed me and that's why this happened. You should have just stayed still. I'm going to hide now. No, you are keep talking and that is why. That's not true. Bruner, what? He's already gone. Because of you, we don't have any clue about where he went. So it's all my fault? You? Huh, whatever. Let's just hurry and find the guys. Whatever. But where should we find our friends? We have literally zero clue. It's hide and seek. Finding is way more easy than hiding. You just have to focus on each one's personality, physical characteristics, and traces. Come on. Wait for me. Spooky, for example, likes to play indoors, so he would have chosen somewhere wide and dark. Like... like a cave? Spooky, you're out! Oh, I thought you'll never find me. We're kind of busy. Bye! Kalini is a scaredy cat, so she must be somewhere around here. And she loves to clean, so we should find a spot that is particularly clean. Like this place? Told ya! Coming out, Cleanie! <laughs> you got me! I think we all know who's behind this huge rock. Max! Oh, how did you find me? You guys are really good. So, did we find them all? Nope, you still have to find Bruner. Oh, right! Um, Bruner should be up there on the tree. Whoa! Ouch! How did you know I was up there? <laughs> Piece of cake! Wow! You guys are really good! Yeah! You two make a really good team! Yeah! You found us all so easily! How do you guys do that? Well, we're a team! Right, Posty? Huh? Uh, yeah! Cause we're a team! <laughs> wow! I'm jealous! <laughs> So guys, so we're done playing hide and seek. How about playing with a ball? Sounds nice! We should split into two teams. Cap, Posty, you two want to be on the same team, right? Uh, sure, cause we're always a team. Okay, catch it, Cap. Yeah, take this! Ooh, woohoo! Posty, that was my ball! Hey, I saw the chance and I took it. But still, it was my ball and you took it. We scored and that's all that should matter. Ugh, Posty, you're so greedy. <coughs> what? Greedy? Are you serious? Yes, I'm dead serious. So what? Cat, why are you being so mean? There you're they the go again. Mean. Well, they're always a team, so we should go now. Yeah, we can do something else. If it wasn't me, I bet we would have lost. All right, of course we would have. Cap, you. <laughs> Bruner the prankster. Spooky, play with me. Huh? Spooky's not home. Should I visit Pokes? Hmm. Oh, oh, my ball. Ugh, it went inside the tire! Oh, 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 really? What now? Huh, oh, it's not that bad in here. It's like playing hide and seek. Now that I'm already in here, I'll just stay, jump out, and scare Spooky when he comes. <laughs> oh, it's so hot in here. Why isn't Spooky coming? Oh, huh? Time went by so fast. Oh well, I should go now. Oh yes, finally he's coming. Yes, a new tire. Woohoo! <laughs> My shiny, shiny, pretty tire. <laughs> oh, what's that sound? Ooh, come on, come on. <laughs> 
What was that? Is something in there? Wow. Whoa! Oh my! Whoa! Are you alright, Spooky? Oh, Bruno, you! I'm sorry. I thought it would be fun. It was! Even though you scared me a lot. <laughs> but still, it was fun! Oh, uh, really? You really think it was fun? Yeah, no lie. But how long were you in there? A very long time. Just to scare me? Yup. Oh, Bruner, you stayed inside of a tire for that long just for me? It must have been hard. Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> so, this one goes here. Nice, almost done. Why are you keep staring at me? Do you need any help? Uh, nope. I can't tell him that I'm planning to prank on him. <laughs> huh? What was that? Uh, nothing, nothing. It was nothing. <laughs> huh? If you say so. Oh, finally it's done. Now I should go to bed. <laughs> now it's time for Bruner's prank. Uh, who is it? Uh, who did this? I was just falling asleep. Uh, whoever it is, he's going to pay for this. <laughs> wow, this is really fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done moving bricks for today. Now it's time to have some rest. Hey, Dom. Huh? I got too many woods to carry here. I need some help. Can you help me? Huh? Oh, okay, Bruner. I'm on my way. <laughs> it's time for me to make a mess with these bricks. <laughs> this is really fun. <laughs> Prank is the best! Bruner, where are the woods? Oops, I need to go before he comes. That's weird. Where did Bruner go? Huh? Who did this? Who made this mess? I have to clean this up all over again. Oh. <laughs> Pranking is really fun. Now, who's next? Oh, hi, Max! Hey, Bruner! You look good today, as always! Huh? A compliment from Bruner? That's rare. Oh, well, have a nice day! Oh, uh, you too! I'm 100% sure Bruner's the one who did it. If he does it one more time... Oh, hey, Max! Oh, hi, Dom! Max, what are you doing, you silly? What? What do you mean? Stay still, I got it. <sighs> Here, Max, look. Huh? What is this? Who put this thing on me? It's Bruner, I swear. <laughs> Earlier today, he pranked on me, too. Oh, need sleep. Posty, what's wrong? Somebody was keep knocking on the door last night. I don't know who it was, but he's going to pay for it. Uh, I think it's... I think Bruner did it. Bruner? Uh... Why are you keep staring at me? Do you need any help? Uh, nope. I can't tell him that I'm planning to prank on him. <laughs> huh? What was that? Uh, nothing, nothing. It was nothing. <laughs> now that I think about it, it's got to be Bruner. Ugh, that does it. We should do something, guys. Yeah, we, we should. should. Yeah, we should prank on him. Great. We can do this together. Hmm. 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 Okay. The trap is all set. Now I'm going to hide. Fire! Fire! What? The fire is heading Here. towards the wooden bridge! 
Max, where's the fire? Oh! <laughs> he had it coming. What? What is this? Did I just fell into a trap I made by myself? How does it feel, you prankster? Posty, dumb, Max, did you do this? It's a prank just like you did. What? My prank is fun, not like the one you just did on me. Do you really think your prank is fun? Yeah, ask Spooky. He told me my prank was super fun. Spooky, you said my prank was fun, right? Yup, really fun. Did he prank on you guys too? Whoa, that must have been fun. Maybe to you, but not to us. Yeah, because we are all different, you know. Oh, uh, if you say so. <laughs> Well, since Spooky told me he had fun, I thought you guys would like my prank too. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, Bruner. From now, you have to pick your moments, okay? Okay, okay. Bruner, that's not like you. Raise your head. Um, but guys... What? What's that face? I'm scared. Well, I was thinking about what you said, and I think I got a new idea for a prank. What? Really? What's that, Bruner? Tell me. Oh, we should leave here. Yeah. yeah. Bruner, you have to prank on me, okay? Of course, but first, uh, could you move a little bit? You're too close. Oh, tell me what you're going to do. Nope. That'll ruin the whole fun. But Bruner... A Strange Adventure of Four Friends Yay! It's been a long time since our last adventure! Yeah! It's so good to be back in the forest. What are we going to find today? Oh! There's a fork ahead. Should we split up? Yeah, we should decide which way we want to go. Okay, go. Where should we go? Right, right or, or left? left? Right. Me too. Oh, oh. Huh? Oh, Cleany, what's wrong? Oh, sorry, I haven't decided yet. Meh, okay, you'd better make your decision this time. Where should we go? Right, right or, or left? left? Right, right again. again. Me too. Right again. Uh, left? Uh, right? Cleany, just pick one already! <coughs> Sorry, I wish I had more time to think. Cleany, you're wasting our time! Oh, but it's just so difficult to me. You don't have to think about it, just simply pick one! <coughs> anything, anything! It's not hard at all! Uh, but it's just so hard for me! Uh, I don't know. Oh well, and there Cleanie goes. Cleanie seems to be upset. Cleanie will be back soon anyway. Cleanie, we're going to ride. Uh, you think it's okay to let Cleanie go alone? Of course, Cleanie's not a baby. Adventures! Adventures! Huh? Oh. They're so mean. I'll just look for a butterfly by myself. Oh. Guys, wait for me! Oh, I've never seen this wildflower before. It's beautiful. I wonder what its name is. Rosie? Mary? Oh, it's Buzzy! Buzzy, where are you going? Let's play together. I know a good place for collecting honey. Woohoo! I'm making my own way! Not this way. Ugh. Oh, it's already getting dark. I must go back to friends. See you later, Buzzy. Posty, I see you found a pretty flower. Uh, where is everybody? I don't know. I must keep looking for a pretty flower around here. They'll be back soon anyway. You guys were all here. <laughs> hey, Cap. Nice to see you again. How was your adventure? Good? Yup, it was the best. I even found a new place today. But how about Cleany? 
Have you seen Cleeny? Huh? I don't know. Cleeny's not back yet? What? So nobody has seen Cleeny after Cleeny went like that? Oh my. Oh no. Cleeny must be scared alone. We should not just stand here and wait. Let's go and find Cleeny. Cleeny! Cleeny, where are you? Oh no. What do we do? Where did Cleeny go? Hmm. Oh, guys, look over there. Aren't those Cleeny's brushies? Huh? Why are those here? Oh my, those are Cleeny's. What if something happened to Cleeny? What should we do? We should hurry and find Cleeny before the sun goes down. Yeah. Oh. Guys, Cleeny can't just pass by a mess, right? Yeah, the river seems so dirty because of the storm two days ago. Then maybe... Maybe Cleeny fell over a rock and lost the brushies and... And when Cleeny got to the riverside, Cleeny decided to go into the water to clean up those leaves, then slip the wheels, and the river carried away our Cleeny? Oh no! Oh, but guys, look! There are tire tracks going opposite the river. Here. Oh, that's true. Phew. Okay, guys, let's follow these tracks. <laughs> guys, it's left. Left again. Once again, left. Wow, Cleeny really likes going left. This is kind of weird. Oh, Cleeny, please be safe. <sighs> oh, 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 oh. oh no. Cleeny, where are you, Cleeny? Please don't say you fell into the lake. Cleeny! Wow, it's beautiful. We're sorry, Cleeny. Please, please go, go back. back. Huh? I hear my friends. What's happening? Guys! Cleeny! What's wrong? What happened? Cleeny, we're, we're so, so sorry! Cleeny, are you okay? I'm so sorry for pushing you earlier today. Oh, right! I was upset. I forgot about it while I was looking at the lake. We found your brushies in the forest, and it was getting dark. But we still couldn't find you, and then we got so worried. Oh! I'm sorry that I worried you guys, but thanks to you, I had a lot of fun today. Ooh. Oh, wait for me, butterfly. Ooh, ooh. Ouch! Ouch! Oh. oh no, it's gone. Where did it go, huh? Oh, how about deciding with this acacia leaf? Okay, left, right. Left, right, last, left. Okay, from now on, I'll keep picking left whenever it's hard to decide. To left! <laughs> left, 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 ah! Phew, that was close. I almost fell into the river. Okay, left again. Left, left. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. I wish my friends were here. Wow, we had no idea, so we were so worried. I'm sorry for my behavior. I just wanted to start our adventures as quickly as possible. No, I know I always take too much time to decide something, but not anymore. Wow, Cleeny, if you say so, I'm really happy for you. From now on, it's always going to be left. Huh? After I kept going left like the acacia leaf told me to, I found this beautiful lake, and I was even able to check our friendship, so it's always going to be left. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yay, Cleeny is left. Now let's go. Okay, I'll go on the left side. Okay. okay. So Cleeny's love of left starts from now? <laughs> <laughs> Secret friend. 
This time, I visited some of the historical sites where people used to live in the old days. And the most interesting thing was this kid from the tribe playing his flute to make his snake dance. A dancing snake? Wow! So I see this double rainbow in the sky while listening to the kid's flute performance. Suddenly... Suddenly? And then suddenly... Oh, I guess the fire is dying? It's not warm enough here. Camp, you're changing the subject again. I mean, what's the use of telling a story without a fire? Okay, I see. What do you want? What is it? Tell us! We have to hear the rest of the story. Hmm, I think you already know what to do. Oh, the clapping! Why did you tell us earlier? Okay, okay. Tell, tell us more! Tell us more! Tell us more about this thing! Hmm, I like that. <laughs> so then, the other kid was about to steal my lantern from my caravan, right? What? Really? And then, you know me, I noticed him right away. Okay, right away. So you know what I did? I slowly approached this kid with my lantern and... And... I grabbed his arm! Whoa! Wow, Camp, that's awesome! What happened to the kid? So, what did you do to him? Hmm, since you guys seem really into my story, I'm going to tell you the rest of it. So, after grabbing his arm, I looked him in the eye. Then, I noticed this whole nomadic people coming towards me. Whoa! And then... I can't remember the exact number, but almost 10 of them were fighting against me. But of course, I overpowered them all except the kid. And then, and then I gave him another lantern. Take this one too, I said. What? But he was trying to steal your lantern. Wow, what are you, an angel? Oh, stop it, Minnie. <laughs> But that is so awesome! And you're a great storyteller, too! Yeah, you're really awesome, buddy! I agree! Hmm, <laughs> it's really dark. Maybe I should have kept one of my lantern. <sighs> Morning. I must have been really tired from the trip. Huh? It's a lantern. Who brought this? Hmm, nobody's here. Maybe it's from one of my fans. Oh, I'm so popular. <laughs> huh? There's a note. The whole world will become brighter because of your kindness. From your secret friend. A secret friend? <laughs> That's nice. Uh, uh, this path is always too steep. <laughs> Stop my caravan? Spooky! Cap! Posty! Did you stop my caravan? Oh uh, no, we just got here. I thought one of you were the secret friend who left me the note. A secret friend? What's that? A friend to share each other's secrets? Hmm, so you're not telling me. Okay, I'll find out by myself. I'll find out who it was and what it is. You'll see. Um, okay? Oh, I forgot to bring some wood to make a fire. I should go get them. Huh? Who brought these? I think it's the secret friend again. Hmm, I wonder who it is. Oops, I forgot the matches too. What should I do? Oh well, I think I should just sleep without a fire tonight. Benny. I want to become an awesome travel journalist just like you. Oh, it's morning. Huh? Oh yeah, I remember. Hmm, someone was building a fire next to me. And gave me this blanket. 
Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, this is killing me. I know I definitely saw him. Oh, yes, I remember the color. It was blue. Okay, then. It must be one of these four. Holy, Hosty, Mr. Musty, and Benny. Why didn't I think of this earlier? What's up, Camp? Gathering us all here? I'm kind of busy. I'm in the middle of work. Hmm. Now I'm going to guess who this secret friend is. Okay. Okay, but what is this secret friend you're talking about? Oh, that reminds me of the past. It's like a guardian angel who helps you to do things. A secret friend. Is you, Mr. Musty. What? Yes, my guess was right. You're the only one who knows about the secret friend. So you must be my secret friend, right? Oh, I really hope so. But sadly, no. Oh, really? That's odd. Oh yeah, he said he wanted to become a travel journalist. So it's not you then. I like my current job, then becoming a travel journalist. So can I go now, Cam? Um... No, even though I was in my sleep, but I remember the color blue and red. So Pulley should stay. Camp, if he said he wanted to become a travel journalist, it must be one of who listened to your travel story. Oh, you're right. Okay, then it must be one of you too. Posty and Benny. Oh, please, I'm telling you, I'm not your secret friend. Uh, uh actually, I'm your secret friend. Yes, Benny, you! Uh, yeah, it was me the whole time. Just kidding, you can't fool me. I know you're not my secret friend. What? He's telling you he's the one. Oh, no. Nobody calls themselves as a culprit. And Benny has only one color, which is blue. Don't underestimate me. That's because of the fire or the blanket. That won't change the fact that Posty is my secret friend. Please, Camp, I'm really busy. And I don't want to become a secret friend. I like being just normal friend. You, you do? And I also like my current job than becoming a travel journalist. Really? Mr. Camp? No, no, no. It wasn't your voice, though. Uh, it was me. I didn't want to tell you it was me the whole time, but... At that time, you even said, oh, it was you, Benny. I did? Oh, it was you, Benny. Oh, now I remember. I'm so sorry, Benny. I was in my sleep, so... See? I told you it wasn't me. But, Benny, why did you become Camp's secret friend? Uh, that's because... While I was listening to Mr. Camp's travel story, I thought I wanted to help Mr. Camp just like he helped the little kid. But I was kind of shy, so I decided to make it a secret. <laughs> You're my hero, Mr. Camp. <laughs> You're making me blush. But wow, the fact that I could be somebody's hero makes me feel great. Yeah, I truly want to become someone like you. Huh. But that doesn't make any sense. Huh? Why? Because you're going to become someone better than me. You know why? Because you're the one who noticed my awesomeness. Oh, there he goes again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all hope Benny to become an awesome travel journalist just like him. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, Benny. My secret friend. <laughs> Benny struggle. Aww. Yesterday we couldn't play outside because of the rain, so we promised to play ball if it is raining today. When? I don't recall. Yesterday when we were drawing? Uh, I don't know, and I'm too tired to play outside today. Minnie, really? Tell her, Benny, you remember we promised to play ball, right? Yeah, we kind of did. See? Benny remembers. 
Benny, do you want to play ball or play house? Uh, I like playing ball. What? And playing house too? Benny? Mm, Rody, let's play house today and tomorrow let's do whatever you want. What do you say, Minnie? Okay, sounds good. Let's play. Oh, okay. But this time, promise me you won't forget that. We, we promise. promise. Let's play doctor. You said we're going to do whatever I want, right? Oh. Okay, let's do it. Huh? Really? Well, that's nice. It's nice to see you two agree with each other. It's going to be fun today. Great! Now I'll play the doctor. What are you talking about? We're playing what you want. So let me play the role. What? Let's just do whatever Rody wants. Just for today. Why should I? We already decided to play doctors and that's what he wants. And that means I'm going to play the doctor. Nonsense. I'm playing the doctor. You do something else. Minnie, why are you being such a... G guys, why don't we decide it with the timing game? First come, first serve. And go. Why? Oh, what is this? Minnie won, so she plays the doctor. Oh. Let's measure your height and weight first. Okay. Okay, done. Now let's go to the doctor's office. Uh -huh. What seems to be the problem? Uh, my stomach aches. Mm, you don't seem to have a fever. Now I need to take your x-ray. Okay, the result says it seems like you just have an upset stomach. Wow, you're such a smart and kind nurse. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Benny. It's just a stomach ache, so you'll be fine after you get a shot. Aww. Rody, you play the doctor from now. I want to play the nurse. I'll let you play the doctor. What do you mean? I'm playing this very well. You said you want to play the doctor. I'm done with it, so you play it from now. No thanks. I have to give Benny a shot now. You play the doctor. What's wrong with you, Minnie? We even played the game because of you. Why are you being like this? Because I changed my mind. I'll play the nurse from now. Oh, wow. Benny, you don't want me to give you a shot? Well, that's not the problem. See, Benny's okay with it. Minnie the nurse. No, Benny, you like me being the nurse better, right? I don't think so. I should. No, I should. Come on, Benny. Huh? I think I'm okay now. Thankfully, I don't think I need to get a shot anymore. <laughs> Since the patient is not sick anymore, what should we play next? Because of you, it's over now. What? You ruined everything and you know it. Please, guys, stop fighting. I didn't ruin anything. You just changed your mind too easily. Stop it, guys. Uh, how about this? Huh, I don't want to play with you anymore, Rody. Whatever, I have Benny on my side. <sighs> stop! Stop it! Just stop! Oh, B Benny! What's up with you guys? <laughs> Why does it matter to you so much? Can we just have fun playing anything? Uh, yeah, you're right, but... How could you be so selfish all the time? Benny, we didn't mean to. Try to put yourself in my place and think how you would feel. How can you always only think of yourselves? Maybe I don't want to play with you guys anymore. <laughs> Benny seems really upset. Yeah, I know. Did I go too far? No, not at all. If I think about how they've done to me... Mm. Never again. No. But it's kind of boring just being alone. What, what was that? Who, who's there? Stop hiding and show yourself. Oh my! What are you guys doing? You scared me. Huh? You don't think it's funny, Benny? No way. 
Okay, Rody, you know what to do. Yup. Benny, this one's really hard. Going backwards just using your back wheels. Watch! <laughs> You'll stop, you two. Oh, Benny laughed. So are we friends again? Okay, we're friends again. Promise? You heard him too, Rody. Yup, it's a promise. Ah, oh, you guys are so weird. We're sorry for being so selfish. You must have been tired between us. It won't happen again. Really? You promise? We, we promise. promise. So, since we're friends again, shall we play? Sure. sure. Um, how about playing teacher? Really, Minnie? We're outside now. How about playing hide and seek? Can't we just go to our secret base and play teacher? Nope. But why? Oh, we can not do again. it quickly and go I'm home. out. So you guys do whatever you want. Then he went home again because of you. What do you mean it's because of me? It's because of you. Look at us too, Jin. One million and twenty-one, one million and twenty-two. Rooner, you've been playing all day long. Look, oh, I missed it because of you. What? Oh. <laughs> Finally done. Wow, you finished it already? That's cool. Okay, Dom, take this. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let me finish. Hey. It looks way better now, right? <laughs> oh, Bruner. Huh? Bruner, I see you're not playing ball today. So you carried all these bricks already? That's awesome. Uh, playing ball? Hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, I played earlier today. Uh, I just try to work hard. I know you're working very hard. Okay, thanks to Bruner, I think you guys can wrap up and have some good rest for tomorrow. Oh, Bruner. Uh, what? What did I do? <sighs> Never mind. Uh, see you tomorrow, guys. See you. Uh, this is hard. <sighs> well, but I guess I can finish it soon. Oh, my ball! Huh? Bruner, I see you carried all the soil already. Uh, what? That's amazing. You've changed in a good way. Uh, <laughs> uh thank you for the compliment, Jin. Huh? What was that? I did all the work. Okay, keep up the good work. <laughs> Back to playing ball. Bruner, he's just playing all day. Are you trying to cheer me up, Poke? I know, it doesn't really matter who gets the compliment. It's our work anyway. I'm okay, Poke. Mm -mm. Oh! A dump! Pass me the ball! Stop playing! What? Come on! I'll give it to you when the work is done! Dump, what's up with you? What's up with you? Dump! Bruner! Oh! oh. Jin! What's going on? Oh, uh, Jin, it's just... Huh? Isn't that Bruner's? He's just trying to play with his ball after hard work. Give him back. Uh, but it's not like that. Give the ball back to him, Dump. It's not okay to bully your friend. But that's not what happened. <coughs> this isn't fair. Uh... Oh, Dump. You had a rough day today, Bruner. Take some rest and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, okay, Jin. Good morning, guys. Uh, where's Dump? Oh, oh Dump? Uh, He's still not here yet? Jin, actually... <laughs> oh, what's up with Dump? Bruner, when you see him, tell him to come see me. Oh, what should I do? Oh, no. Bruner, why don't you tell the truth to Jin? What truth? Are you saying that I'm lying now? Jin thinks you did all the work, but the truth is, Dump did it. I didn't say anything. Jin misunderstood everything, and you guys know that. I know you didn't lie, but you know Dump is feeling upset lately. I don't think this is right, so why don't we tell Jin the truth? 
Okay, okay, I'll tell her the truth. Good thinking, Bruner. Eh, <sighs> I guess playing ball stops now. Mm. Okay, let's do this. What? Why didn't you say anything before? I was on your side because I thought you did the whole work. Dumb must be really upset. I was going to, but it felt so good to hear compliments from you. Oh, Bruner, you silly. I'm sorry, Jin. Come on, guys, let's go and find Dump. He must be so upset and lonely. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> it's cold. Ugh, and the wind is making me more sad. Who's making our Dump sad? Huh? Jin! Guys! Stop bothering our dump, you wind! Fight me! Hoi yeah! Oh, please, stop it, Bruner. Uh, sorry, I was just trying to make you feel better. Dump, I heard it all from Bruner. I should have known it was you all the time who did the hard work. I'm so sorry. Jin, without you, Dump, I'm sure we couldn't do anything like this. That's true, Dump. From now, I'll stop playing and work harder. Thank you for saying that. Starting tomorrow, let's work hard together. Okay! Max, I brought more woods! Thanks to Dump, I think it's going to be finished before noon. <laughs> Thanks! You're diligent and strong. You're the best, Dump. Ooh, Jin! What? What's the problem, Max? Uh, it's just... Huh? It's just that... Don't just look at Dump, look at me too! <laughs> what? Max, I thought something happened! Max, Max are, are you, you kidding, kidding me? me? What? I want some attention too! <laughs> you guys! Because it's you, Lifty! So you're saying there are more loads to come in, right, Terry? Yup, after one or two hours later. Okay, got it. Before that, I think I should go and organize the packages. Well then, Terry, good luck. Okay, you too. <laughs> okay. Let's do this, shall we? First, I'm going to move these fragile ones over here. And the other ones over here. Okay, done. Lifty! Huh? Wow, you're really good at this now. How long have you been watching me? Since a while. You're so focused that you can't even hear me. <laughs> I just try to work hard. Lifty, the awesome forklift from Broomstown. It's a piece of cake now. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's great. Please look after the packages I have to deliver later, too. <laughs> Got it. Okay, see ya. <laughs> hey, Terry. Great work. <laughs> you too. Wow, you finished it already? That's awesome. Oh, it's nothing. Come on, let me unload yours, too. Okay. in the zone. Can't even hear me calling your name. What were you imagining? Uh, Lifty the King of Forklift. Because it's true, right Terry? Huh? Uh, of course. So these are the last ones, right? <laughs> There's not much. Lifty, 
They're fragile, so you should be careful. Don't worry, Terry. Lifting three boxes are nothing to me now. Three boxes? That's a lot. I think they're kind of big to you. No, no. Three boxes are really nothing to Lifty the King of Forklift. Let me show you. Whoa, be careful, Lifty. You're worrying too much. I can't do this. Oh, no. Whoa, it's all broken. I told you to be careful, Lifty. T Terry. Uh, what happened? I heard something break. <gasps> oh no, those are the vases I was going to deliver today! Posty, I was just... Lifty, you should have been more careful! Oh no, the whole box is entirely broken! What should I do? Anyways, are you alright, Lifty? Uh, I don't know! Huh? Lifty? Huh? <laughs> I thought I was good enough to handle it. Now what? <laughs> huh? That's so funny! How's that even possible? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Are they laughing at me? Uh... <laughs> oh, Jin! Can I help you? It looks heavy. No, it's okay. I can do it. Oh, I heard from Posty that you... Oh, but it was a mistake! Jin, how could you? <laughs> huh? Lefty! Oh, I didn't mean that. <laughs> oh, now everybody knows about it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I heard you made a big mistake. Yeah, I heard you broke all the vases. Who does that? <laughs> King of Forklift. Yeah, right. Now he's done. <laughs> <laughs> what should I do? Hi, Lifty. Hey, Camp. Do you want me to carry the caravan for you? Uh, no thanks. I think I'm okay. <laughs> Oh, Lifty, why are you crying? Huh? Lifty, why are you crying? It's all done. Oh, Lifty! Why are you crying on the street? What's wrong? What's up with you guys? You were laughing at me! Laugh at you? You guys were making fun of me because I made a mistake today. And you all rejected my help too. Huh? What are you talking about? That's nonsense. Oh, Lifty, you were here. We were so worried about you. You hated me because of my mistake. Why were you even worried about me? What? Why would we hate you, Lifty? Posty and Terry were so mad at me when I broke all the vases by mistake. And Jin and Kemp even said no to my help. So I thought you guys were hating me because I'm full of mistakes. What? Gosh, you totally misunderstood what I said. So you fell over at that spot? That's so funny, Cap. <laughs> I know, right? Even I laughed right after I fell over. <laughs> That's so funny, Cap. But it's such a relief that you weren't hurt. <laughs> no, it's okay. I can do it. Oh, I heard from Posty that you broke some vases. Are you hurt anywhere? <laughs> but Lifty, you don't look good today. Are you okay? Oh my, I'm so embarrassed. So now you know the truth, your highness? So I misunderstood everything. Hmm. Lifty, we don't like you because you're good at something and hate you because you're bad at something. <laughs> then why do you like me? Well, that's because it's you. It's, it's you, you, Lifty! Lifty. Really? Thank you, guys. But Lifty, I heard that if you laugh right after you cry, you get a little horn on your... What? <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, everybody, now, best event of the camping. Ball hunting begins! Finally! Yay! First, you have to find the hidden balls in the forest of friendship. And we don't need the details, we know them already. He's right. Come on, let's start. Hmm, okay, then I'll tell you what's the prize at the end. Come on, come on, I'm going to find them all. Oh, Bruner, you really think you can beat me? Ha, we'll see about that. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Collect the balls like this one and gather here in an hour. Be safe, kids, and have fun. Then go. Yay! Yeah! All right! Yeah! Ha-ha! All the balls hiding in the forest are mine. I'm the one who knows this place the best. I can't even go with my eyes shut. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Woohoo! Wait for me, ball. I'm coming for you. Ah, oh, can't reach it. I should jump. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah. All right, now it's four. What was that, Cap? I found the ball. What do you mean? You can't see it's in my basket. I found it first, Cap. What's the use of that? You have to grab it to have it. You? Come on, give it back. Nope. I'm not going to just stand here and watch. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, everybody's here, right? Let's see how many you've found. Wow, Cap, that's a lot. Of course. It's me, Cap, the Broomstown's best taxi driver. Wow, Cap, that's awesome. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, five. Oh, I'm jealous. I only found one. Huh, what's so awesome about him? He took them from others. Hey, that's not true. How could you say something like that? You did. Poke, say something. He took yours too. <laughs> what are you talking about? Poke, do you agree with him? <laughs> Poke, I didn't do it, right? What? You know you clearly took my ball. Come down, guys. We're trying to have fun here. He's right. Cap, Bruner, why don't we take a deep breath first? <laughs> Camp, I think we should find a way to fix this. Just wait for it. And come down, you two. So, now I'm going to tell you the prizes of each number of the balls. You know this is the main event, right? Congrats, Cap. You're gonna get so many prizes. Bruner, you... Shush. Quiet. Now, as a host, I'm going to announce the prizes. Is there anyone want to know what their prizes are first? Three. Number three first. Hmm, number three. The prize of the ball number three would be... Singing with your friend! Huh? What? Now that's a weird prize. Next, what number do you want to know? Four? How about four? Number four would be... A one-day coupon for helping your friend. Camp, these prizes are ridiculous! It's not like last year! Heh, <laughs> well, he had it coming. Focus! Let's all read off the banner on the tree, shall we? Broomstown Friendship Camping. Exactly, a friendship camping. The prizes for today's event are all related to a friendship, but earlier today, you guys were too excited to listen to me. Oh my. Cap, come on, tell him your next number. <sighs> I'm out. Okay, okay, number six. Number six would be... Oh, this one is nice. Giving one of your balls to your friend. Are you kidding? Now you want me to give my ball to someone else? But Cap, you got two more. I think it's okay to share a ball with someone else. But... But this isn't fair. Okay, here. 
Hmm? It's number seven. Camp, what's the price for number seven? Number seven would be... Give a kiss to your friend. What? <laughs> Oh, come on! How do you feel, king of friendship? How do I feel? I'm feeling awesome! <laughs> Here, it's a special trophy for the king of friendship! Congratulations, Congratulations Cap! Aw, thank you, guys! Hmm, I have number seven, so I should give a kiss to a friend. Posty, do you want my kiss? Uh, no thanks, Bruner. I think I'm okay with that. Aw, I see you're blushing. Stop there! <laughs> <laughs> Lifty's Portrait Finally, it's the day to apply for the art contest. Yeah, it is. It's so nice that the rescue team is going to be the judge. It's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to see everyone's art. Oh, holy Jin! Hello! Hi, Lifty. Where are you going? I was on my way to get some rest. I just finished cleaning the shed. You're so diligent, Lifty. Thanks, Polly. So, what are you doing here? Ah, as you can see, we were talking about the Harbor Art Contest. Oh, Broomstown Harbor Art Contest? What is this? The ocean looks beautiful these days, so we were thinking about holding a festival about Harbor, and we decided to hold a portrait drawing contest. Oh, uh, if the Harbor friends are the models, can I still enter the contest? Of course you can, Lifty. Oh, then I'm in. Is there a prize? Sure, the rescue team is going to be the judge. Woohoo! Then the prize will be mine. I think I'm the one who knows the Harbor friends the best. Who should I draw? Anyone but yourself? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I think that's all I need. Now I need to choose a model. Hmm, who should I draw? Oh, Minnie Pope! Did you sign up for the art contest too? Yeah, my model is Cece. Oh, nice. Pope, what about you? <laughs> oh, you're drawing Lecky. I'm counting on you, Poke. Wow, it won't going to be easy. Well, best of luck to all of us. Thank you. Then see ya. Hmm. I should hurry up and choose a model too. Who should I pick? Oh, how about Terry? I know everything about Terry, so I bet I'll draw him really good. Terry! Huh? Please be my model. What? A model? I should fix this part. Mm, no, not this. No, not this one. Uh, it's so hard. Lifty, how long do I have to pose like this? I'm tired. Don't move, Terry. If you move, I have to draw you again from the beginning. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, I'm tired. Oh, oh it's a bee. Go! Shoo! Oh, Terry, I told you to not move! Lifty, I can't do this anymore. Are you done yet? What's this? You're not even finished. Is this me? What? It does look like you. No, it does not at all. Jen, come here for a second. What's up? Jin, who do you think this is? Uh, well, it slightly looks like Terry. See? It does look like you. That means it doesn't look like me at all. You say you're close with me, but I think you don't know me well. What? Terry, it's not even finished yet. Why do you say like that? I should go now. I'm too tired today. Ugh. Oh, Terry! Oh, what did I do wrong? Whew, this is hard. Huh? He blinks his left eye. 
Almost there. Ouch! Oh, sorry. Oh, Lifty, be careful. <coughs> Whew, it's hard. Lifty, please take care of these two. Aha! Uh -huh. Terry has a habit of blinking his left eye, like winking. All done. <laughs> That's all for today. Good job, Lifty. <laughs> Terry, please be my model once again. I won't let you down this time. Huh? Uh, oh. <laughs> Alright, it's done! Did you submit yours, Minnie? Of course! I was the first! Uh, I can't wait to see who's going to be the winner! That will be me, of course! I did a great job, too! Great enough to impress the whole rescue team! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jin, here! Thanks, Polly! Then I will announce the winner of the art contest. Of course, all of the artworks were really good, so the judges had a hard time to decide only one winner. Great job, everyone. All of them were good? Oh, this isn't good. The winner of the Broomstown's Harbor Art Contest is... Is... Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> The one who drew Terry, Lifty! Whoa, I'm a winner? Oh, congratulations, Lifty! Mm -mm. Huh? That's odd. It wasn't that good until a few days ago. Terry, you haven't seen your drawing, did you? Let me show you now. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. Why? Terry, you don't like it? <laughs> now that is so me! Wow, how did you know I often blink my left eye? Oh, you scared me! <laughs> okay, Lifty, any words? Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, uh, first of all, I'm so happy to win the first place, and thanks for the congratulations. As a winner, I would like to tell you the secret. Oh, what is it? First, I thought it would be easy to draw Terry since he's a close friend who works with me every day, but it wasn't. I tried too hard to draw well, and that even caused an argument. So I started from the beginning by taking a close look of my friend with love, and then I was able to find his special habit. Oh, Lifty. And then I decided to draw it. It feels great to become closer to my friend Terry with this opportunity. The end. Congratulations, Congratulations again, Lifty. Oh, and I almost forgot. What is it? <laughs> I discovered a talent for drawing. Maybe I should become an artist? What? Lifty? <laughs> That's our Lifty. What? Am I wrong? Hello, I won the first prize. <laughs> <laughs> Need more baskets. Can I turn around now, Grandpa? <laughs> okay, now turn around. Yay! Wow! Happy birthday, Minnie. Stay healthy this year, too. Yay, thank you so much, Grandpa. Okay, make a wish and blow out the candles. Okay. <laughs> that was fast, honey. Yep, of course. Blow out the candles, too. <gasps> so there's a gift I want in this box, right? <laughs> yes, honey. Go ahead and open it. Wow, Grandpa. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really wanted a princess ribbon for my birthday, and my wish came true. Thank you again, Grandpa. I'm going to show it to my friends. I'll be back, Grandpa. <laughs> okay, Minnie. Have fun. I will. <laughs> Grandpa gave me this princess ribbon for my birthday. Look, it's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, you look like a princess. Happy birthday, Princess Minnie. A princess? Hmm, it's a bit different from what I imagined. But happy birthday. 
Brody! Oh, right. Guys, I want to play Snow White for my birthday. Would you play with me? Uh, well... Come on, please! Snow White needs seven dwarfs, but there's only two of us. Oh, that doesn't matter at all. We'll just pretend that five went out to do stuff. Hmm... <laughs> So, we need a mirror to play Snow White. Where can I find one? Mm, let me check my toy basket. Mm, I don't see it. Oh, found it. Mm. Now, Princess Minnie has to go to Dreamland. Thanks to you two dwarves, I could avoid the poison apple today. You're welcome, princess. <sighs> Finally, it's over. Okay, let's wrap things up. Okay. All done. Me too. Oh, I spilled! Oh, let's keep falling down! I think it'll keep falling down until you take out some of the toys in there. No, I think I can do it! I agree with Rhodey. Use the other basket or... Or give some of them to me! No way! These are all my precious toys! Greedy! They're all mine! Stay out of my toys, Rhodey! <laughs> Guys, stop fighting! <laughs> Kids, I'm home! Oh, Grandpa! Hello, Mr. Musty! Hello! Today is our Minnie's birthday, so I decided to stop by to see if you kids are having fun. How's it going? Um, actually... Of course, Grandpa! We even played Snow White, too, and it was fun! <laughs> Maybe you did. I did not because of you. Rhodey, you! What? What did I do? <laughs> Rhodey, would you like to tell me why? Minnie's toys were too many to fit in a basket, so I said maybe she can give some of them to me or use the other basket too. But then she said I should stay out of her toys. Because they're all mine! Some of them are for all of us! Oh... Now, now, don't fight you two. See, even Benny's feeling uncomfortable now. How about we find a way to solve this problem together? Okay. Let's see. I think the toys are too many to fit in this basket. They might break if you just put them into the basket like this. We don't want that to happen, do we? So we're going to make two spaces inside of this box. One for the toys you often play with, and one for those you don't. Uh -huh. And then we'll make a list of the toys for each space. Broken toys, or the ones you don't play with anymore, could be recycled, or maybe we can give them to your friends if they want. Yeah, we should totally make a list. Somebody turned the basket upside down to find a princess mirror earlier today. Uh, who was that? Now I should organize the toys. Let, Let us do it together. <laughs> sure. I didn't play with this one today, but I think maybe tomorrow. And I play with this today, but I don't think I will need it tomorrow. Well, but it's a princess mirror, so I should keep it. This one goes here, and this one too. Minnie, you're putting them all into one side. I know. What should I do? I love them all. It's pretty hard, isn't it? Mm, I have an idea. What, what is, is it? it? We can make a basket for the ones we play with together. <laughs> That's a great idea, Benny. That's awesome, Benny. Let's make it with that green basket. Yeah, it'll make the organizing way easier. And finding a toy we need, too. Then, Rhodey, Benny, you pick the toys for the basket first. What are you talking about? You're the owner of the basket, so you should do it first. What? That's nonsense. Mm, it was Benny's idea, so Benny, you pick first. Uh, but I kind of agree with Rhodey. <laughs> How about 
Rhodey's plane. What? No! How about Minnie's toy camera? We play with it all the time. Then Rhodey's plane and Minnie's toy camera first. What? No! <laughs> Not Rhodey's oh, first. kids with what? their Those toys. <laughs>